Salutations, I'm just me. God. And welcome back to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just felt like going back to a classic. Um, we're here today with more Celeste. And hopefully... Well, kind of hopefully, kind of not. This is the last episode. Hopefully. Hopefully this is the last episode. Not that this is, in fact, the last episode. Because I don't know that yet. As evidenced by me fucking it up. I haven't played this for like 48 hours. Somewhere around, I would guess. Mm, get over it. Oh, good, 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 good. Over that. Okay, alright. This is really intense. Ooh, that should have been death in my opinion. But I guess it just goes back to the design philosophy that they had when making this game. I really wanted to talk about something. But I really need to focus. Make it, make it. Oh, holy crap. That was terrifying. So I want to talk about something, and it's a subject that makes me very glad that I'm ineligible for monetization, because if I wasn't, I would be demonetized instantly as soon as I say the word Nazi. Um, I found out recently that some of the first research ever to be done into transgender people was done in Germany. Right before Hitler rose to power. Not, I mean, not right before, like, I believe it was around 1929? I don't remember the exact time frame. Uh, but you can find it on Wikipedia. There's this really famous image of a bunch of books being burned. And a lot of those books were the research from this institute into transgender people, as well as other, um, there were books about gay, gay men and lesbians as well. I mean, I suppose the term gay men is a little redundant. Is it a little redundant? I don't I don't know the official terminology and all that. Throw it. Not quite. Not quite. Um, uh, but yeah. There's actually a a German biographical film about the person who founded it, which I don't remember his name either, but yeah, it's really kind of surprising to me. I mean, it shouldn't be, but because inherently fascism is a reaction to uh, the political left, so to have such strong left stuff going on, especially compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, that's gonna breed fascism. And it's not because of the left, it's the reaction to the left. And that's something that's really important to acknowledge, especially if you're, like, Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder, who have jokes about people on the left being fascist and being like Hitler. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Crowder who had the character uh, Tranny Hitler. That is factual. Well, of course it's factually incorrect because Hitler wasn't a trans woman. But even ideologically that's inconsistent with the world as we see it. And I don't think they know that. It seems 
like it'd be far too easy to say, oh, they definitely know that, and they're just doing it to be deliberately deceitful. I certainly doubt that. Don't attribute malice to what can be explained by ignorance, and... Ignorance kind of seems like the name of the game with people like them. But yeah. I found that out, and I found it really cool, and I wanted to share it with y'all. And I don't have a platform that pays me, so... Might as well say whatever the fuck I want. Also, there's this, um, I heard, I haven't looked into this in any meaningful way, so I don't actively know if this is true, but, ah, oh, I dashed straight. But apparently, and I don't remember which Greek god specifically it is, but one of the gods, when they're drunk, sometimes puts the wrong genitals on, on the humans he's making. So, there's that. Just like old times, I was able to save my dash. Oh. Am I just too eager? Too giddy? I might be just a little too jumpy. I think I might need to slow down a little. Breathe and relax. My Celeste shirt came in. The one that I am lovingly referring to as my pride shirt. I think it's the one called Climb on the Fan Gamer Shop, but it says go find yourself, and yeah, there's no there's no sort of color scheme that denotes it as pride, but like it feels like such an integral part of my story that it's my pride shirt. I'm planning on wearing it out side of the house this Sunday. I don't plan on wearing it out in the conventional sort of breaking down sense. But yeah, this Sunday I'm gonna get to go and hang out with one of my friends, at least. I invited some others, but they seem a little busy. That was scary. I think I'm thinking about the jellyfish part of myself, which it isn't. Fuck. 
functionally that works. That's a perfect example of it, actually. I don't... I don't... I don't want to call it take damage. I don't die when it's in electricity. So it's not part of me, necessarily. Which means I can afford to focus on... Madeline, rather than what the jellyfish is going to hit. And it takes a whole lot of focus. I need a blast off of him. Oh, crap. That's so far. That's so far. How am I going to make it all the way back there again? There's also, uh hypothesis floating around that the Mona Lisa is a painting of da Vinci, like a self-portrait. And I think that'd be really beautiful. Like, it's a self-portrait of him as a girl. And I... Not gonna lie, I have my own sort of historical fan fiction about that, because how neat would it be to have something that personal in common with Da Vinci? And he was certainly before the time when there was any sort of gender-reforming surgeries, because that, that was actually done by the organization that the Nazis burned all of the research of. They were the, they were the first, or at least according to what I read, they were the first to develop a full-on gender-affirming surgery. I was too far to the right. I was too focused on the tragic, admittedly, history of trans people. A history that far too many people seem willing to erase. I never heard of this organization before. I hadn't even heard, I'd heard that the Nazis burned books, but never what the books were or what they were about. And it wasn't exclusively their research, they also grabbed books, like, that were authored by, by Jewish people from public libraries and added those to the, to the book-burning piles. But it's... interesting. And... For my claim about the about fascism being a reaction to the left, uh, I advise you look into the work of Robert Paxton. He is a historian who actually does a lot of research and studying on the rise of fascism in, in 1940s Europe. So like Germany, Italy, stuff like that. It always really strongly has characteristics of the home country. Like here in America, we really value individualism, 
while having like little little things that we we carry to sort of denote that we're part of some groups like shirts for example it's it's a very american culture thing to have like a pop culture t-shirt and stuff like that so we wouldn't see a full-on fascist uniform instead we have like a little lapel pin or maybe a red hat that way we can retain our individualism while saying we are part of this in-group and that's also part of fascist movements is in-grouping and out-grouping plus a disdain for intellectualism it's really kind of shocking how well a uh, subset of American culture falls right into being fascist. And really terrifying because now I know myself to be among their targets. Where before I could pretend to be straight because I... I bat for both. Um, I could I could be passing for straight, and I, I thought I was a cis white male that puts me pretty much outside of all demographics that they would be against. All I'd have to do is cowardly hide from what they were doing, ignore it, which I gave thought to. It's not something I'm necessarily proud of, and something I feel like I've changed now since I've found my voice. And not the voice you hear me speaking with, but just more so who I am. And the voice is probably slipping off anyway. I don't know. I'm just not feeling like putting too much effort in it right now. I want to play this game. And it's hard. It's a hard game. So, if some other stuff falls by the wayside, that's A-OK. -okay. There are actually some in the field um, who study fascism that disagree with labeling it all as fascism because it looks so different, people really wouldn't be able to see it because they'd be like, no, it looks like armbands with white circles, it looks like military parades and stuff. that it's almost unhelpful. Son of a bitch! I guess I threw it too low. Um, but it's almost unhelpful to label it as fascism. And like, each one has such a strong tie to the cultural identity because it's tying into sort of these popular icons and, and reappropriating them for their uh, destructive movement. There are some who object to calling it fascism and instead saying like 1940s German fascism or or Hitlerian fasc fascism. Trumpism. It's not exactly deniable that Trump was a fascist. It's clear to anyone who isn't part of the in-group. I'm sorry if that's a controversial statement for you.
It's functionally true, though. Um, but... It is... It looks so different that for a long time there wasn't a good definition of fascism. Robert Paxton actually published a book called The 14 Features of Fascism or something like that. I need to focus. Madeline is the hitbox, not the whole jellyfish Madeline combo. Alright. Now we just have to dodge the fish. And we should be a okay to proceed. <laughs> Almost went too far to the right there. Like a fascist. <laughs> Fascism isn't inherently a right wing ideology. I do want to make that very clear. Um, it often aligns with the right because the right. No! I needed to dash and grab onto that wall. Every inch, man. Every inch. That's what she said. And I'm a she! <laughs> um, but... What was I saying before I made that terrible joke? I don't think it's the 14 features of fascism. I think that was made by someone else who actually lived in... Hold on, I have the book. Okay, it's called The Anatomy of Fascism by Robert Paxton. I have it in paperback. I ordered it from Amazon. Which, I don't like supporting Amazon, but they're far too convenient sometimes. Like, I can't always find the the sellers on their original website. So, sometimes I do have to go through Amazon. And, there, and then there are some things that I can find on the original website. Like, uh... AV to HDMI converter so that I can use the Wii on my TV and possibly even record it. That I just won't be able to, like, order. Because I ordered it off of Newegg and when it, and it came in Amazon packaging and I was super confused. It's really cheap. It's a really small thing. It doesn't even have an internal power source. Which was surprising to me. Instead, it comes with a USB-powered cable. No! I needed to dash to grab it. We do have a level of consistency going on. She says as she royally screws the pooch. I hope it's not weird. I don't know, I suddenly just got self-conscious about calling myself a she. And I know that functionally that shouldn't be a problem, because so far as I'm aware currently, I am. Although I am open to, to that changing, I intend on working with a psychologist with knowledge in the relevant field, not... There's far too many that claim knowledge in fields like this that just don't have it. And there are a lot of legal exemptions for them in different places. Like West Virginia, for example, you can call yourself a psychologist if you're associated with a religious organization, I believe. I don't remember if it's specifically one or another, but yeah. Uh, but you don't even have to have knowledge in the relevant field. Just have to be like, yeah, I'm accredited by this religious organization. And that's a problem. Because psychology is a science, and these people are untrained in it entirely, and because of that, and because people are when you are a psychologist, people come to you in incredibly vulnerable positions. And 
you, the nature of that is you can do a lot more harm if you aren't trained appropriately. And that has happened to far too many people. It's fine if a counselor is Christian. It's not fine if they are a Christian counselor. I miss the jellyfish. Because there is a difference, and there's a lot of terminology jumping that they're probably going to be doing as more people speak out against quote-unquote Christian counseling. They're probably going to call it, like, soul counseling or some other BS like that. But yeah. If you're looking for a counselor, make sure you check uh, specific resources. Oh, I don't remember what they are right now. Hold on. Psychology Today is a good resource for searching for licensed mental health professionals. I reached out to a group that was knowledgeable on stuff like this, and I was asking for resources to help me understand whether or not I was trans and, and what that would even mean in the first place. And they highly encouraged counseling, which I do intend to do, at least with my college. And then I'll, I'll follow the advice in that email that I just read you a short snippet from about psychology today. I will use that to find another one, if the need be. I missed it again, come on. But yeah, so... Yeah. Son of a bitch. We are approaching just about 30 minutes. I, while I was pulling up the email, I took the time to look at how long I'd been recording. So, I'm gonna give it until we reach the point where I died last time. Not last time, but. I'm going to give it until we reach the furthest point that I had gotten to so far. Um, if we make it further than that, then we do. If we don't, then we don't. Either way, this video is going to end right after that. So if you want to jump forward, feel free. If you want to continue hanging out with me, I'd be more than happy to have you around. Unless I keep making mistakes like that, then it's probably better you skip ahead so I save myself the embarrassment. <laughs> I do want to address this. Although, it'll, it'll be better served in the future when I'm playing the series again. Obviously, I am not in support of J.K. Rowling's viewpoints. Of course, I'm in good company there, because neither does Daniel Radcliffe or Emma Watson, I believe it was. Um, so, I'm not going to let that stop me from playing the LEGO video game with my friend. Uh, we just... Well, the world kind of went on pause. I'm really looking forward to it now. Oh, that's going to be a big shock, isn't it? Because I do plan on coming out on my channel by the end of this month. So, I'll have some explaining to do in that video series.
over eager. Sorry for that random noise. There was... My stick of deodorant was on my desk and... My family likes to sort of buy in bulk to save up. So that one's a little on the older side. Still not out yet, but... You know. It's worth using still. Um, but... It was a special sensitive skin for men deodorant, which pointlessly gendered. But yeah, I just saw it and it bothered me a little bit, so I threw it onto the floor. My floor is kind of a mess, but... I'm gonna guess... Whose isn't? Shit! I missed the green crystal! But I made a promise. So that's gonna be it. Good news is, we're back on the slider, baby. So we know how much closer we are to the end of this screen, because I'm starting to lose confidence that this is the end of fucking anything at this rate. Go up there because of the wind. We fell back down here. Dash, grab that, did the whole bounce thing did the burst thing, was able to dash and grab that, just missed the crystal. If I had grabbed the crystal, dashed, grabbed that, easy peasy, get the crystal, dash, grab that, come back over to the left, spring off that, fly this way, dash, easy peasy, we land right on top of that. I'm really tempted to do it, I'm really tempted to do it, but I'm gonna say my outro, I'm saying my outro. Thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to take care of yourselves so that tomorrow's another day. I hope to see you then. Bye! Thanks for being so cool with this. I know there's only one person consistently watching and... Hello. I hope you're well today, but yeah. It means a lot to me that, that you're here. It makes me feel a lot better about being myself, that someone is actually watching. I hope you're not feeling like you have to watch out of obligation, though. Before I go, I want to say, I don't remember their name, and I really should, but I just heard about them today. It was actually a black trans woman who I believe was sort of the the driving force between not between the the initial driving force for the LGBTQ plus communities to stand up for themselves at um, Stonewall. Is it Stonewall? I think so. I think it was the I think it was a bar called Stonewall. Um, shows you how much I know. I'm still reading up on it. Um, 
But yeah, it was a it was a black trans woman, and I feel like that's really important to remember. We wouldn't have half the shit we have today if it wasn't for that beautiful woman. I think it was a woman. Ah, oh, crap. I really need to do a lot more reading on this. But yeah. I just... I just want to put it out there because... It seems too often that it gets forgotten. Bye! <laughs>